I'd like to show you our 1050 micromotor. It's our other type. It's a brushless type. Uh, this is a control box. We've got a handpiece, handpiece holder, and our foot pedal. Those are the components that come with the kit. Let me tell you a little bit about brushless micromotors. The difference between brushless micromotors and the other type, the type with motor brushes, is that you'll never have to replace the motor brush. That also means that these are sealed. There's no fan ports or dust ports, so it keeps the dust out of the components so they don't wear away as fast. They tend to be higher power for the same size and weight motor than the motor brush type. So you've got a little bit more of a compact, lighter weight handpiece compared to the other ones with a lot more power. They also tend to run faster. This one goes up to 50,000 RPM. This handpiece has got a speed range of 1,000 to 50,000 RPM. And the faster you go, the smoother your cuts. It's almost like writing with a pen. It's wonderful. Let's take a look at the control box. On the back is where you would plug it in here. The handpiece goes in here. And over here is where the foot pedal plugs in. Let's just plug that in right now and get it started. Here, you could hear it signal that it went on. We will plug in the handpiece. As you can see on the handpiece plug, there's a little notch on the top. That's where you would go on the top here. And you plug that right in and screw it down. in there and then you would plug in your foot pedal on the other port over here that also has a dimple on the top of the plug to help you locate the proper alignment okay the main thing that you see first off is the digital speed control this is great because you can actually see where your speed is how fast you're going in thousands of rpm this is at 1,000 RPM, and as you can see, you can dial it all the way up to 50,000 RPM. That way you can do repeatable results at the same speed that you want to. You can also see what speed you're doing if you've got something like a tool or an accessory that has a maximum speed range less than your 50,000 RPM, so you don't go over it. We'll get more on that later with the foot pedal. In the meantime, we'll go all the way back down. You've got the main power button here that turns on the unit, and then a separate, separate power button here on off that's lit green when it's on. You've got a forward and reverse here, forwards in green, reverses in orange. And down here you've got a hand control or foot pedal. And right now it's in orange or yellow, and that would be foot. We're just gonna turn that there. And this is an auto cruise control, sort of like your car. We'll show you how to do that a little bit later. You also have a little handy dandy place here to store your handpiece. And there's also a magnetic strip here for your burr shanks to be put for your favorite ones. All right, let's show you a little bit about the handpiece now. This is a brushless handpiece. There are no ports for the fan. There's no ports or places to unscrew it to put in your motor brushes. Unlike our other models, this one has no motor brushes. It means it's a little bit more compact, a different engine design. It'll run a little bit faster and a little bit more power than the other ones. In fact, it's a lot more powerful than the other ones. The great thing about the higher speeds are you get smoother cuts. Also, there's no more dust coming in to wear away your bearings and your collet and your other product. Let me show you how we start that up. We have it on forward, hand, press this button here, and it's now doing 1,000 RPM. As you go up, you can see it going up faster. It's now doing 50,000 RPM. Let's show you how to change burrs and bits. We'll turn it off here and turn it off here. About halfway up, about the silver belt, you're going to see an S and an R. On the silver ring, there's a little arrow. Very hard to see, but it's there. And there's a little notch in between that you'll see, the raised notch. That's 
right below the area where it's secure or all the way over for release. That releases the burr. In between, there's a spot that locks both the spindle and the collet. That's great for taking out screws and say a screw mandrel. All right, we'll turn that all the way over to secure. The spindle will turn freely, but the burr is locked in. The brushless micromotor is a perfect candidate to use one of our collet adapters. A collet adapter changes the diameter of the shank of the burr that you can use in a specific collet. In other words, I actually have a 1 8 inch collet inside here and I'm using a 3 32nd diameter or 2.35 millimeter burr. Here's the burr and here's the collet adapter. It's a sleeve that actually slides over your burr and into your collet of your micromotor. It adds no run out and is a wonderful tool to use and to tell you the truth, it's kind of a pain in the neck sometimes to change collets when you want to use larger diameter burrs or smaller diameter burrs. Now let's go over to foot pedal. The nice thing about the foot pedal speed control is that you can actually limit how fast you want this thing to go. What you do is you take your dial indicator and you can see it moving the speed. Say I've got a, um, a burr that has a maximum speed rating of 30,000 RPM. I'll dial it down to under 30. And now, no matter how hard I press that foot pedal, it will not go above that speed. The other thing with the foot pedal speed control is your auto cruise control. If you're using one burr for a long period of time, what you do is you press it, hold the speed, for more than three seconds and then you'll hear a beep. Then you can take your hand, your foot off the foot pedal and it's still going just like your car cruise control would. Step on it once and it stops it. I just want to go over again. This thing runs so smooth that you don't even know it's on. There's no vibration. It's got ceramic ball bearings in there. It runs very powerful. You can actually take a small burr in at a high speed and use it like a ballpoint pen and sign your name. A lot of artists love to sign their work and this is a perfect machine for it.